Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I hope you are all well. Today we are preparing an oil-free collagen day and night face cream. Here I have listed the ingredients needed for this recipe. I will leave the links to where I bought the ingredients in the description box below. To prepare this oil-free collagen face cream, you need a beaker or a heat-resistant container. Pour the distilled water into the beaker. Water is mainly used as a solvent in cosmetic and personal care products, dissolving many of the ingredients that provide benefit to the skin. We add the niacinamide to the distilled water and mix till it dissolves. This water-soluble vitamin B3 helps to improve the appearance and texture of the skin, fighting the visible effects of aging on several fronts. It improves the skin's barrier, reduces skin pigmentation, reduces fine lines and wrinkles, tightens and minimizes enlarged pores, and improves oily skin by reducing sebum production. I take the glycerin, add the high molecular weight hyaluronic acid to it, and the ultra low molecular weight hyaluronic acid to it, and mix well. Hyaluronic acid makes the skin smoother and softer. It is considered one of the best intensive moisturizers. Even in low humidity, the skin is protected. Hyaluronic acid helps the skin retain moisture and forms a non-clogging barrier on the skin. Ultra-low molecular weight hyaluronic acid does not form a gel-like structure as the high molecular weight hyaluronic acid. I combine the two because the best effect is achieved when they are used together in a formulation. Add the mixture to the distilled water and mix. If you add the hyaluronic acid directly to the water, particularly the high molecular weight hyaluronic acid, it will form lumps and take longer to swell and dissolve. Mixing it with glycerin before adding it to the water will speed up this process. I add the Olive M1000 to the distilled water Olive M1000 is a self-thickening natural emulsifying wax with the ability to create oil-free emulsions. Place the beaker in a water bath and heat to about 70 degrees Celsius on medium heat using the double boil method. Stir occasionally so that the heat is evenly distributed. When the Olive M1000 is completely melted, Remove the beaker from the water bath and continue mixing till it cools down to about 40 degrees Celsius. When the temperature is around 40 degrees Celsius and you have a consistency like this, you can start adding in the active ingredients. I add in the D-Panthenol and mix well. D-Panthenol has a calming and moisturizing effect, suits skin irritation, and promotes wound healing. D-Panthenol stimulates the growth of new skin cells, helps to reduce itching, and has an anti-inflammatory effect. It has the potential to improve skin appearance, including dryness, rough skin, scaling, and itching. I add in the vegetable collagen and mix well. Collagen is best known for increasing skin hydration, which in turn keeps the skin smooth and wrinkle-free. Collagen is a protein produced naturally by the body and is found in hair, skin, nails, and bones. As we age, the body naturally slows down the production of collagen. Collagen is essential for wrinkle-free skin and it keeps skin smooth and plump by stimulating tissue growth. Plant collagen is water soluble and is an alternative to animal collagen. It locks in moisture and leaves the skin visibly smoother, radiating freshness, youth and beauty. I add in the horsetail extract. Horsetail extract contains mineral salts and trace elements that activate the enzymes involved in collagen and elastin production strengthening the hair, nails, and connective tissues of the skin. I add in the Centella Asiatica. 
Centella asiatica, also known as gotukola, and in India, pennywort, is firming, regenerating, and anti-irritating. It also has anti-inflammatory and purifying properties. Asiatic acid, a component of Centella asiatica, increases collagen synthesis and improves the skin's elasticity. I add in the tetrahexyl diesel ascorbate. Tetrahexyl diesel ascorbate is a very stable oil-soluble vitamin C derivative, which has antioxidant properties, activates collagen production, and prevents premature aging. It lightens skin tone, fades dark spots, reduces wrinkles, and treats and prevents acne. We add in the tetrapeptide 21 and mix well. Tetrapeptide 21 is a pure bioactive tetrapeptide with anti-aging properties based on the skin's own structure for use in skincare formulations. Tetrapeptide 21 can help stimulate skin growth and repair. It activates collagen production, stimulating the skin's own replenishing, repairing, and renewal mechanisms. I act in the vitamin E Tocopherol acetate is a stable form of vitamin E which protects cell membranes from free radical damage and prevents premature skin aging caused by UV radiation. Vitamin E has antioxidant properties. It is widely used in skincare to moisturize the skin and can improve the appearance of aged skin. It has soothing properties and promotes skin regeneration. Then we add in the preservative and mix well. I am using Liquid Gemal Plus as my preservative. Liquid Gemal Plus is a broad spectrum preservative that is effective over a wide pH range of 3 to 8. Mix until all the ingredients are well blended. Then test the pH of the cream. To test the pH, I mix 2 grams of the cream with 8 grams distilled water. Then dip my pH strip into the mixture for 10 seconds. Remove it and see what the pH value is. As you can see, the pH value is around 5.5 and 6 and I wish to bring it down to 5. To lower the pH value of this cream from 6 to 5, Based on the ingredients used and the measurement, I add 0.12 grams of citric acid to the cream, mix well and test the pH value again. As you can see, we have now lowered the pH from 6 to 5 which is perfect. I will now pour the cream into a clean sterilized container and store it at room temperature away from direct sunlight. If you wish to know how to calculate the shelf life of your homemade products, please watch this video of mine where I give you a quick guide on how to determine the shelf life of your homemade products. I will leave the link in the description box below. This cream can be used on the face and the neck area in the morning and in the evening. Apply your sunscreen after applying this cream on the face. If you have worked with Olivem 1000, you will know that creams made with this emulsifier have the tendency of sopping when applied to the skin. This is the consistency of the cream a week after I formulated it. When I apply it on my skin and start to rub it into the skin, you can clearly see the soaping effect. However, as I continue to massage it on the skin, within a few seconds, it will eventually disappear. The cream may look thick, but it feels light on the skin. Guys, we have come to the end of the video. Thank you for watching it. Please remember to like, share, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. A massive thank you to all the Patreon members, to those who have joined my membership, and to my subscribers. You guys are awesome. Thank you for the continued love and support. I wish you a beautiful day and hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye and God bless you.